Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel is all about trying to learn various concepts of science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems and topics like select basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called maximum transaction each day and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 42nd video of the series called maximum transaction each day and let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called transaction with three different columns, transaction ID, day and amount transaction id is the column with unique values for this table each row contains information about one transaction we are asked to write a solution to report the ids of the transactions with the maximum amount on their respective day if in one day there are multiple such transactions return all of them return the result table ordered by transaction id in ascending order okay let's go through this example so here we have various records in the transactions table so for example if we look at it right so on 3rd of april 2021 there is only one transaction the amount is 57 so highest amount is 57 on 3rd of april and transaction id 8 should be in our output on 28th of april there are two different transactions of 21 and 40 units so obviously the highest is 40 so transaction id 5 should be in the output but not 9 so if we look at in our output 5 is there but not 9 8 is there and so on so to solve this question what we can do is we can take this transactions table and then partition by the day right so you see here this is a date time so for time we do not care so what we can do is we can format this day column so that it only has year month and day and then partition by that arrange by amount in descending order and try to rank it so that the highest amount is ranked one and then the next highest amount and so on so that once we have that then we can keep only those rows where rank equal to one because that is going to have the maximum amount on that particular respective day so yeah, to solve this question let's do from this table called transactions right so from this table transactions if i keep all the columns so select star and then what I'm doing going to do is use the ranking method. So dense rank and then over partition by. So for every particular day, we need it, right? But in before, you know, partitioning by the day, we need to remove this time part. So what we can do is we can use the date format function. So date format, what we are going to do is take the day and then convert it into only year, month and day so that the time is ignored and then order by amount in decreasing manner and let's alias this as rank right okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at our output so here we have on 3rd of april 2021 this is the highest one and we see on 28th of april there are two different transactions 40 and 21 obviously this is the highest and so on now from this what we can do is whatever that we got this table that we got from this query we can you know use this as a sub query so from this table that we just got and this is our sub query let's alias this as table t we are only interested in keeping the maximum amount so where t dot rank is equal to one and in our output we only need the transaction ids so return the transaction id so select t dot transaction id and we also need to order this by transaction id in ascending order so order by t dot transaction id in ascending order okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was from this table called transactions what we did was we partitioned by the day but before doing that partition we formatted that day so that we only have the year month and date part and then ordered by amount in decreasing manner so that the highest transaction on a particular day is ranked one then since we are only interested in the maximum amount of the transaction we kept where rank is equal to one and then what we did was we returned the transaction ids and ordered by transaction id in ascending order so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video